autoimmune diseases in our pets are becoming more and more common. That's not a good thing, but that is the fact. Now, there are many reasons for this happening, but in today's video, I wanted to focus on what I believe are the three biggest triggers for these complex diseases. Known as often referred to as the autoimmune triad, these triggers have been found to be underlying in all autoimmune diseases. So let's dive in today and take a look at what they are, and then I'll give you my best tip on the best place to start when treating any autoimmune disease. Hi there, Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality. Welcome back to the channel, Happy Healthy Dogs, where it's my passion to help you help your dog live a longer, healthier life naturally. Now, if you're new to the channel here uh, today, guys, thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe if you choose to, and also to click on that uh, little bell to be notified of um, all my upcoming free content videos. Now, just so you're aware of what an autoimmune disease is, this is where your dog's immune system actually turns on the body and can start attacking certain body organs or systems. Basically, your dog's immune system is in a state of confusion and has become overactive. Now, common autoimmune diseases include inflammatory bowel disease, thyroiditis, lupus, and immune-mediated polyarthritis. Now, treating these autoimmune diseases, whether it's conventionally with drugs or whether you go down that natural road or whether it's a combination, it can be quite challenging and it's certainly not a disease to take lightly. So if your dog has been diagnosed with some type of autoimmune disease, please make sure you're working with your vet and other, uh, another holistic practitioner who really understands the complex nature of these diseases. So that means avoiding them is far better than having to treat them. And when you know what can potentially trigger them, this can go a long way towards prevention. Now these three triggers, as I said, referred to as the autoimmune triad and um, all autoimmune diseases have these in common, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the first one is also really dependent on the other two. So let's look at number one, genetics. Now, certainly not the main one, and it really only accounts for about 30%. So this is a smaller piece of the puzzle. That means that 70% is related to the next two triggers. And also it's great to know too, that whether the genetics becomes an issue is really dependent on these other two factors. So essentially they can be turned on or off, which gives us more hope in the treatment of any autoimmune disease. Now, number two, more importantly, leaky gut syndrome. Now, those of you who know me know I'm always going on about the importance of gut health. And really it is now more important and the most important one comes to the development of any autoimmune disease. This can be um, caused by feeding processed foods, foods containing grains and gluten, along with other inflammatory ingredients, gut infections, toxins, stress, and even medications that can irritate your dog's gut lining. Now, once this barrier is open, food particles and other na nasties like bacteria can go into the bloodstream where your dog's immune system sees them as a threat and goes into attack mode. Now, this sets off a really big spike of inflammation. Over time, if left untreated, the gut remains leaky and your dog's body will be constantly inflamed causing that immune system to become really stressed and eventually it misfires, attacking part of your dog's body tissue, leading to that autoimmune uh, response. And if you want to learn more about leaky gut or um, SIBO, I'll link to those videos below in the description. So definitely poor gut health is one way those gene patterns can either be turned on or off, which is what we want. We want them off. And finally, number three. Now, lastly, there's a number of environmental lifestyle factors that can trigger or worsen any autoimmune disease, causing a disruption and confusion, confusion in your dog's immune system, contributing also to that inflammation that I mentioned earlier. Now, these can include nutrient deficiencies, stress, that's a big one, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, toxic load, heavy metals or toxins that are coming from a wide variety of sources like chemical flea tick and worming products, vaccines, processed foods, household cleaning and garden products, and on and on and on the list goes. Viral and bacterial infections, these can be things like SIBO, can, candida or other gut infections that have not completely resolved, and low grade or even latent viral infections. And lastly, hormone imbalances. 
Now these three triggers can be within themselves quite complex, but certainly it is, it is possible to reverse the onset of an autoimmune disease just depending on how far it has progressed. But to do this, you have to take a more natural and holistic approach. And whenever I treat any autoimmune disease, the number one place to start is in your dog's health, gut health. Getting this right, um, if you don't get this right, you're wasting valuable time. You're not getting to the root cause of the problem. Now, healing leaky gut involves making dietary changes, and using nutrients, herbs, and supplements to heal and rebalance the gut and to help then reverse that immune response and dumb down that inflammatory response. Um, now, if you do have a dog that's currently um, being diagnosed with some sort of autoimmune disease and you're wanting a little bit more help with gut healing or any um, in autoimmune disease um, treatment in general, then please feel free to reach out to me. All my contact details are below. But as you can see, those three triggers um, really um, are un at the underlying root of all autoimmune diseases that our dogs might face. So and um, just using drugs in the control of it is not really going to get to that underlying uh, treatment and um, help reverse it. So we really do need to be looking at more of those natural ways to help reverse those issues around gut, uh, stress, toxicity, etc. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up, um, share, and also um, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're having a great day wherever you, wherever you are. Once again, it's still really cold here. I've got my little poppy sleeping beside me here because it's such a whole cold, miserable day. I hope you have a good day, guys. Have uh, Catch up with you next time in another video. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.